Hi everyone, this is Mr. West, and today we're doing a math drills tutorial video on volume and surface area of prisms. So for this exercise, we have four different shapes. These are rectangular prisms, and we need to find the surface area and volume of these various 3D shapes. Let me go ahead and start with the third one. I'm going to explain what is the process for finding the surface area and volume. First off, what is surface area? Well, surface area is kind of how you would suspect it be calculated, and that is finding the area of all the different surfaces. So we have this green surface, we have this blue surface, and this purple surface, and we're gonna add those all together. So you can see here, I kind of had this template set up already. Now, one thing you're gonna wanna note is because it's a 3D shape, we're gonna have two purple areas, okay? So we have this area right here that's on the top, but also this one on the bottom. So it's kind of tough to imagine 3D shapes, so we're going to have to be very careful as we do these calculations. So there's one green side right here, but there's also one in the back. And then we have this front blue surface, and then also one in the back. So these are called faces. And a three, uh, three dimensional rectangular prism has six faces. So we're going to have to keep that in mind as we calculate the total surface area. Now, one of the things we're going to need to know also is how to calculate the area of any shape. So for this one, these are all rectangles or squares, and the formula for rectangle or square is pretty simple. We just have to do the length times the width. So that's gonna make it easier for us. So we're gonna go ahead and start, I might as well go in order, with the green one. Oops. So here's the green one. We know that, and this is what I would recommend, is just redrawing the shape. So I'm gonna draw it off to the side. We have this shape, it's a long green rectangle, and we know it's three centimeters by one centimeter. So if we're gonna do length times width, area equals length times width. Sorry, got to squeeze that A in there. It's going to be area equals three times one. Very simple here. It's just going to be three. And now we need to get the units correct. It's centimeters squared. So we're technically multiplying centimeters by centimeters. So that gives us our area unit, which is centimeters squared. So we have one of those. I'm going to go ahead and write that in. Three centimeters squared. But the thing is, like I said earlier, we have two of those. So any time we're gonna do the surface area for these rectangular prisms, if we find the area of one of the faces, we know there's gonna be an identical one. So really we just need to calculate the green, the purple, and the blue, and we multiply each one of those calculations by two. So I'm gonna multiply this by two, just like that. Or we could add them up and multiply, put two by the end. It doesn't matter because of the distributive property, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you that all the green surface is gonna be six centimeters squared. All right, so we're done with the green. We know that this whole face and that whole face on the back side adds up to six centimeters squared. So now we're gonna do the purple. That one's the next on our list. And we see that we have a one by one square. So figuring out the dimensions of the rectangular prism is kind of the tough part. Sometimes you have to be very careful. I recommend redrawing the shape. So we see that it's one centimeter by one centimeter. This one's gonna be even easier. We have one times one. That just gives us one centimeter squared for our area. So we write one centimeter squared. There's two of those, one on the top, one on the bottom. So then that equals two centimeters squared. Now we're moving on to the blue. So the blue is just like the green, okay? The dimensions are three by one. So we have three by one, kind of ran out of room here. And then we have area equals length times width, so that's three times one, and we got three centimeters squared again. So we have three centimeters squared, and as you can imagine, if we multiply that by two, we also get six centimeters squared. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm just going to add these all up. So these three numbers, this is the total surface area. Okay, so those are all the faces. That's the area of all the green faces all the purple and all the blue, I add those up. So I get six plus two is eight, plus six is 14 centimeters squared. And that's my surface area. So SA is 14 centimeters squared. Okay, now moving on to volume, I'm gonna erase all this. Volume's a little bit different. Now volume, we're talking about three dimensional space, how much space is taken up. So not just the surface, think surface area, if we wanted to paint something. So if we wanted to paint something, we'd only be painting the surface. How much paint would we need to cover that two-dimensional surface? 3D is like we're filling it with water or some liquid or material. So for 3D, this is the process. We just want to cal calculate how many cubic units of space we have. 
So you can kind of see we have these, uh, it's kind of a little bit tricky here, but we have like this unit right here. That would be one cubic unit that we could fill in right there. And how many can we fit in this whole little prism? Well, in this prism, it looks like we got a second one. So that's one, two, and then this top one would be three. That's three centimeters cubed, three cubic centimeters. How many little cubes, cubic units, can we fit inside our shape? So that's how you calculate, um, the simple way to calculate volume is cubic units. Now, what's the process? Well, the process, if you didn't want to just count, would be length times width, just like we did for area, but then we also multiply by the depth. Essentially, what you're doing is you're multiplying the three dimensions together. And how's that work out for this one? Well, for this one, our length and width, we already knew, we could call it one times three, and then we multiply by the depth, the third dimension, and this was also one. So one times three times one gives us three, and then we multiplied three dimensions together, so that's why it's centimeters cubed. Centimeters times centimeters times centimeters is centimeters cubed. So that's the whole process. If you understood that, then you can apply it to all these problems. I'm gonna go ahead and do it to the second one, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy and paste this right here. I'm gonna use this template. I think this is great to use for surface area. Surface area honestly takes a lot longer than volume. Volume's the easier of the two. But um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. So here we have the green. We're gonna start by redrawing it. This is my recommended first step and it's a seven by seven. So seven by seven, if I multiply those together, so area equals seven times seven, and that is 49 inches this time squared. So I have 49 inches, and I'm gonna show you a different way to do it. I'm just gonna go one of these, and then I'm gonna multiply by two at the end, okay? So then my next one is purple, okay? And that's a seven by one. So I have this little rectangle right here. I'm just gonna kinda label like that. This is seven, that's one and I do seven times one, that gives me seven inches squared. So now I have seven inches squared, and then I have another blue one. Okay, I'm just gonna put it over here next to it, and you can see that this is seven by one also, so that's gonna give me seven inches squared, seven inches squared. So what I'm gonna do is be careful here. I only did one of uh, the two faces for each color. So I'm gonna add these all up. This is just the second way to do it. If you want, just multiply them by two and then add those up. I'm gonna show you, you can do the same thing. So, a different way. So we're gonna add 49 plus seven plus seven. That gives me 63 inches squared. But I also have to multiply it by two because those are uh, only one of the faces. So I multiply that by two and I get 126 inches squared. If you were to multiply each one of these by two first, you'd get the same thing. So that would give you 98 plus 14 plus 14, you get the same thing, you get 126. So that's just two different ways to do it, uh, but 126 inches squared, make sure you have the correct units on this, is our answer. Volume, this is gonna be a little different now. Volume, I'm gonna keep this color, where, like I said, we could just count all these cubic units. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was, uh, no, seven, sorry. I double counted this first one. That's seven cubic units if I were to draw it, okay? Seven cubic units, and I could just do that again seven times, I think. So we're just kind of drawing these out. Okay, so you could go around and count them. That's one way to count these cubic units if you were to stack all these together. Or you can do, Volume e equals length times width times depth. So I'm gonna do seven times seven times one, and you're gonna see that we get 49 inches cubed. So we get 49 inches cubed for this. There's 49 of those little cubes in there, okay? So that's the process. Um, I think we probably have time for one more. We'll just leave number two uh, out of this for today. If you have a question, leave it in a comment. But for this last one, we're gonna go ahead and kind of take the quick process for this. So again, I would recommend posting this little template or at least writing this out, having the green area. And maybe if you have a pencil, you might not have colored pencils. You could do green area and then purple area. And you might not even have colors for this. So you could just go top area or bottom area. Just label the different faces so you know. Or you could call it 
the small area or the the right area and then the left area we'll call this one the left area and then we'll call this the top area oops get my colors correct okay so that's what I'd recommend if you want to label them differently so don't get confused and then you can multiply these by two okay each one of these so let me go ahead and start so I have this one is gonna be a three by three this rectangle is three by three so that's nine so I have nine for this I'm, not, I'm gonna double it at the end that's what I'm gonna do and then I have the right area that's three by six again I would really recommend redrawing it that's 18 I'm gonna do units at the end and then we have another three by six okay so that's gonna be 18 also okay so then I'm gonna add this all up that gives me 36 plus 9 that is 45 okay and then I'm gonna multiply that by 2 and I get 90 and then my units are inches squared for surface area 90 inches squared for volume now we're just gonna multiply the three dimensions together that's essentially what you're doing length times width times depth this is for rectangular prisms so we get uh, 9 times 6 oh sorry 3 times 3 I should write that out 3 times 3 times 6 and I get 9 times 6 which is 54 and then this is inches cubed so that's all there is to it I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was helpful also if you have any other questions on volume or surface area let me know I also have a ton of other videos uh, for math drills or any other math drills worksheets so go ahead leave a comment or do a search on my YouTube channel if you need additional help like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time right here on West Explains Best.